Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tonsley, and welcome back to another episode of Code Vein. Where we left off, we finally have got to see the identity and found out the name of our mysterious friend here, Louie. And he introduced, well, we introduced ourselves to all of his friends here. And we have, sadly, we killed Oliver, because he, uh... He turned. It's a sad thing, I know. And after that, I kind of ran all around here browsing the stuff before I ended my last video. Except I did not acknowledge the big hole in the wall. And also the constant shining sound effects of this. Which is annoying. Uh, I don't need to begin training. Let's take a look and see if we can get any new weapons. I'm really sorry. Right now I'm in the middle of a periodic equipment inspection. I should be able to upgrade your weaponry once you and Louie are done talking. Come oh. talk to me before you head out again, okay? Okay. You're very nice, by the way. And you're very pretty. And so are you. You're pretty too, Coco. Uh, let's go over here. Because this says that there is a note written on the edge of the map. What's this? Talk to Louie to gather more info. Exploration goal. They really want me to talk to Louie. What about this? What happens if I play this? Because we heard the music from the stereo. What does this do? Same music. Okay, so they play the same music no matter where you are. It's warm here, isn't it? Everyone wants to know more about me, but I don't know the answer to any of their questions. All I can remember is that my name is Eo, and that my place is by your side. My name... I have no idea what it means. Okay. Uh, by my side? I'm not sure. It was simply decided. One does what must be done. And for me, that is my mission. To stay at your side. Okay, and what about those bandages? I was wounded while I was searching for you. I am not a very capable fighter. Ah. That definitely explains it. Okay, Louie. What do you got to tell us? The ability to draw strength from experiencing memories, and the power to revitalize blood springs, both unprecedented. Sorry, but could I get a sample of your blood? We might understand more if we analyzed it. It won't be much, just a small vial, so you won't need to worry about blood thirst. It'll take a while to get the results. Take it easy in the room back there while you wait. Okay. Oh! Is this my room? Lie down. Oh! It's literally right here. What about all of here? Okay, this is someone else's room. What's down here? I don't like it down here. I'm going back up here. I'm going back in my room. Okay. Well, I guess we just lie down. Okay. 
So how was your day? Mine was good. A lot of laughs, hanging out with friends, talking with people. Okay, I'm bored. As I lied down, I figured something was gonna happen. Nothing happened. Hello again. I've done what I can to look into your talents, and I've confirmed something surprising. Revenants have blood types that differ from those of humans. These types greatly affect a revenant's abilities. However, your blood has no specific type. Or maybe more accurately, your type is broken. Your abilities, and the fact that you have no specific type, might be due to your being what we call a void type. You were able to gain another revenant's power through a vestige, right? That phenomenon is unique to void types. Okay, so now we know what type we are. We're a void type. Supposing you are a void type, there's a test I'd like to perform. Don't worry, I'll get something out of it. I'm going to give you some of my blood. If my theory is correct, it should act as a medium that will give my power to you. What power do you have? Well, here goes. Prometheus, code owner Lewis. Well balanced for combat, but fragile. Its gifts bolster dodging and parrying. Okay. Do we actually have that now? We do. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah. Also, I found out because I really like using the, um, the, the rifle weapon. I'm better off actually using, um, I'm better off using, like, these uh, types right here, which is, like, the ranger and all that, because, uh, the rifles use dexterity, so I'm actually kind of using the wrong thing here if I want to do all my damage. So, let's take a look at what we got here. So, this actually gives me more resistance. It's odd that it says it's fragile, but it... Answers my resistance a lot more than the ranger. Hmm. Uh, base balance plus two. A lot of enhanced stamina. Big decrease in health, though. Okay, so that's why it's saying it's fragile, because I'm majorly decreasing my health doing that. Mm, but that plus four to e core would be nice. Uh... You know what, sure, I'll give it a chance. Now let's see what we can do for these. Reckless Abandon, a communal gift with Louie, increases attack and alters your evasive movements at the cost of damage reduction. Okay. Dash forward in mist form. Phantom Assault. Vanish like mist, then do a jump slash. An offensive skill performed with one-handed sword, halberd, bayonets. Hmm. I would like that to be number one. Of course, I like Venom Mark, so I'm making that number two. Um... that
Okay. I also got these. Increase maximum HP, increase maximum MP. Oh, maximum stamina. There. Hey! Got it. Did you go visit Morasame and Coco? They should be ready to do business now. Oh, Weapons good. and blood veils are vital parts of the Revenant's kit when exploring. You should take another look at them. If you've got materials, upgrade and transform them. Once you've got that settled, talk to me again, and we'll continue where we left off. Okay. First, let's see Coco. What do you got? I've got just about anything you could want. Really? If you want it, I got it. Okay, let's see. <coughs> let's see. Anti-venom medicine that cures venom can block the effect if used before being affected. When administered, this breaks up toxins within the body. Anti-stun, ichor, coagulant. Okay, so she gives, like, items. Kind of like my throwing daggers and all that. Like she gives like just basic items. Okay. Got something to sell? Maybe I do. I'm hoping. An activator used to awaken dormant abilities in blood in a blood code. I don't want to sell that. I'm curious power of strength and humanity for some giving us Okay. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna guess that this stuff is like, yeah, because this stuff gives me you know, a lot of hay. Well, this gives a lot of hay too for these things. I have no idea what these are for, but soon. just in case, because I want to see like how do we work with weapons here? Oh, good timing! I've got everything set up now. What do you need? Uh. Let's see what you got for buying first. Thanks to everyone's hard work, I can offer new weapons. Take a look if you'd like. Okay. Buying something? Yes. Let's see. You only have the two. Okay. And then there's the blood veils. And I already have these. The only difference is color. Okay, so that's difference. Hmm. All right. What about transforming equipment? Which weapon do you want to transform? I want to transform this. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. So I can enhance my thing. It's very expensive, though. Huh. Which blood veil do you want to transform? What about the blood veils? Uh, the one I'm wearing. Yeah, same thing. I can increase resistances for my blood veils and such. Okay. Oh, and this tells you, like, what type of, uh, blood veil effect it does. What one does this? Hmm. 
Guess we'll see someday. Uh, what do you want to upgrade? I want to uh, see if I can upgrade my bayonet. Ah! Here's where we're getting somewhere. Upgrade costs is a qu one queen iron. We have six, but the haze it needs is expensive. You remember that scene we witnessed at the Vestige? That kind of stuff happens every day here. Silva has taken most of the humans who survived <coughs> his protection. So revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. But... Well, nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silva created by levying and distributing blood beads won't last much longer either. So I'm guessing that's what we're here the to help with? The world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about blood beads. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. If you could help us... Well, we'd be drawn into a bitter conflict. Still, the truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. Will you join us? <sighs> Thanks. So, it's a done deal? <laughs> well then, from now on, you're one of us. At least you're giving us a better attitude than last time. <gasps> apple! I like apple. Yakumo Shinonome. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you in action. Let's get right into it. Here's what's going on. Okay. We're studying blood beads and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. We've made a few discoveries. First of all, we found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. And so far as we can determine, every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. Also, after comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly comprised of the same substances. In other words, we can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. And we think that means there must be a source somewhere, a kind of headwaters for the blood beads. Now that we have you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Right? We want to check out the old city ruins first. Sorry for the rush, but we should head out as soon as you're ready. I'm ready right now, because there's nothing I can actually do. <clears throat> Moving from missile to missile. You can move from one missile to another as long as they are activated. Note that it is not... Oh. Certain allies at the base will accompany you as a partner while you explore. They can use gifts to grant buffs before battles, as well as heal you with restorative offerings. You can also heal them and remove their status ailments. Each partner has their own unique fighting style. Okay. I'm gonna rest at this so it's saved. Uh, 
Why don't we see what it's like to take each different companion? So, how about you? Hey, what's up? You made a good choice. I won't let you down. <clears throat> Let's see what he's like. So, what does it want me to do now? Next objective, head to the underground from the missile in home base and search for missiles in the ruined city. Investigate ruined city underground. Okay. Let's head out then. Uh, la, la, la. Teleport. Guess we go to the outer crossroads. Because <clears throat> I already explored the entirety of that place behind us, so it's the only place I can think of to go. Residents of the world. Activating missiles allows other remnants and humans to enter areas that you've explored. Try returning to a place you've visited before and you just might encounter Don't someone new. Wild out there. Okay. So let's visit this person. Hello. Oh, you're exploring this area too? I'm a merchant of sorts. I wander around selling valuables as I explore. The miasma has gotten pretty thin here lately, eh? I thought it might be dangerous, but I came all the same. I haven't seen a fellow explorer for a while, though. I think we were fated to meet. Take this map of the depths. I'll be around here for a while. If you want to buy anything, let me know. Thank you! Uh... If you have any materials from the old world, I can give you valuables in exchange. What do you mean? Oh! Well, crap! I... Okay, so... The other stuff that I sold is fine, but I should have kept that local pennant. Okay, so if I see any of this stuff, I'll make sure to... bring it back Don't to you. Don't hesitate to come back if you need anything. Accessing the depths. Bringing maps to the depths oh, to Davis at home base allows you to explore different parts of the depths. The enemies are frightening and the exploration is tough. But haze and upgrade materials can easily be acquired. Okay. So... He said he wants us to explore more of the underground. And we came from there, so I guess we go this way. Hold on. This says he has something to say, I think. Greetings. I have a... As you travel around, you might find fragments of a past civilization. Materials from the old world. I collect stuff like that. A lot of rare things turn up in the depths. Yeah. Even in the depths nearby, the lost are too powerful. Tell them they can't dig around. <coughs> So if you're headed there, I'd like you to look around for any rare materials. Remember to look at the map I gave you if you need to double check the location. Oh, okay. So how does one open the map? Make sure you're good and set before we go. Wait, I don't know how to oh wait. Oh, okay, it just gets, so... Apparently we missed an item back there. Wait, this is the whole place that we explored already. I guess we go back? Hmm? 
Yeah, this is the place we've already explored. We've already been through here. I don't, I don't get it. What, where else am I supposed to go? The only place I haven't gone is to the right. Uh, I'll explore down here again, see if anything new pops up. And if nothing new pops up, then we'll go the other way. Alright, so yeah, there's nothing really happening over there, so let's just go over this way. Vivifier. Alright. This way leads into the old city. Leads to the old city, huh? So far, it's leading to... Spooky corridors. Oh, you're wearing the same armor as that other guy. A map of the Deaths. Let's take it to Davis. Den of the Dead. <clears throat> that doesn't sound comforting. Splash. <laughs> okay. That's something. <laughs> Expectations exceeded. <clears throat> that settles it. You are absolutely vital to our operation. There are more blood springs ahead, but the miasma is blocking the way forward. Do you think you could clear it for us again? Thank you. We know where two springs are thanks to past expeditions. Let's go have a look at them. The territory up ahead is teeming with the lost. Watch yourself. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Now that I know uh, what stats I need, I need to also see if, the, if any of the jackets are better. Uh, this one actually would be best for me because it gives me C+. Plus. And dexterity. Yeah, I'll do that. Back to the blue hound. Okay, so let's see what we got here. First off, item on the floor. Pick up something we can use? Uh, yeah, got a lost mm, shard. An open ground. I don't like the looks of the communal gifts. Communal gifts are gifts that require the cooperation of a partner in exchange for the greater power they grant. They exact a price from their users when active and consume large amounts of ichor. The price and effect of communal gifts vary by partner. Okay. <sighs> that place was too tight. You really don't like constricting spaces. Oh! Queen iron! And another item! Faded comics! Just imagine being in a place like this. Are those. Oh. You're definitely a bad thing. We make it through no harm and notice repair. Oh, hi! There we go. And a dagger! Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> Dick! That spooked me! Another one? Oh, 
Oh, I see you. And I see you! <laughs> Your friend just watched you die. How do you feel? Oh, and there's one with a blade here. You say that, yet you're kicking his butt. Oh crap, that was too, too long. I'm too used to using the other one. Let's take a look at it. Ah, it's the one that these guys have. <clears throat> nice. There's a mess of lost over there. You have to take whatever you can use. That is a lot of lost. Spots among these vehicles. What the hell? That's a real gem. Hunter Vestige Part C. Crystal fragment required to restore the hunter's vestige. Okay. And a woman's voice was in it, so it seems it was a girl. Something tells me something big is on the other side of here. It's hard to see up ahead. It's a lady. A big lady. An angry lady. Ah! I'm getting horribly mangled here. Ow! Dodged way too early. You've used a lot of healing. Be careful from here on. Uh huh. That was my bad. Oh. Cutscene. Is it? You okay? Yo, Louis. You smell that? Yeah. Human blood. An escapee. Now, where did she run off to? Huh? <laughs> hey, chumps! What the hell are you doing here? None of your business. Oh, really? <clears throat> then tell me this. Why would scum like you have the sweet stink of a human on you? The girl belongs to us. Put your paws on our property and your ash. That clear? Honestly, I'd love to just shoot him in the leg, make him walk home. Fresh blood is some powerful stuff. You hanging in there? So, what's the plan now? 
We know it's just a matter of time until they find that missing human. You know the plan. Hell yeah. Let's hope she hasn't been devoured by horrors yet. Horrors? Wait, there's lost. What's a horror? Oh, uh, okay. So that guy went that way. Anything over here? It's, uh, it's a door. So it won't open. Okay, door won't open. More of those things. And that looks like nothing. Cause at first I thought it's this old alternate way down, but nope. We can rest here for a while. Yeah, definitely. And actually, I need to end off this video here, cause I am out of time. But, <clears throat> we're starting to see more and more of how horribly destroyed and mangled this whole world is. And the next time I go here, I'm going to make sure to try and do it solo. Unless it makes me automatically do it, because it looks like it's going to make me automatically do it with a partner. I don't think it's going to let me go without one, but I'm going to see what happens if I like go back to base and then talk to someone and see if it'll make me go solo. Because I want to see if it'll be a more entertaining challenge than having a partner all the time. <clears throat> so we're just going to have to see what happens in the meantime um, in the next video. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of when the next content uploads onto my channel. And as always, I'll see you all Ooh, in the direction. Sorry. In the next video. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye. It's delicious.